that, he sends him right to the ground. Wow, he just had a handful of hair. Did you see that? That's disgusting. Maybe Snitsky will call a timeout here and regroup. See, EJ, look at On cue, there it is, right there. That's the kind of leader you need in your corner, a guy like Snitsky. Snitsky toying with Samu over there. They lock up and again he shoves them like a rag doll right to the mat. Wow, another late pull to the hair. What is wrong with this referee? Daniel Martin. Pull to the hair. M3 doesn't have any hair to pull. Don't you see that? Don't you see? It's you need tweezers to pull that hair. Oh. He nearly chopped him in half with that one. Snitsky just held his heart after that one. M3 into the corner and eats a big clothesline from Samu. Uh-oh. Oh my god! The stink face! And that put him right down. I thought Rikishi invented that. Well, they are related. Mike. Look at this cheating already. Sam outside. How was that cheating? You're not gonna pull you're not gonna pull that one on a veteran like Samu, I'll tell you that much. M3 had enough. He tagged in JP. And here comes Off of Junior. Oh. Off of Junior bringing the furious patented in Samoan offense this to the, JP. This is the strategy though. For Team Havoc. They let the extra guys in first. And the big guy Snitsky is waiting in the wing. Oh my god, that big splash. That squished him. JP is a big guy, but he looks like a small child compared to Alpha oh, Jr. Hey, speaking, of, speaking of child, yeah, right. This is a man in the ring right now, Snitsky. And here comes Alofa. The ref should have called a DQ on that. The Samoan headbutt is definitely illegal. Except for these officials don't know what to do. That, that Samoan forehead is like getting hit into this. a brick wall. EJ, look at this. Look at what? Snitsky just said, reach my hand. And guess what? He couldn't. <laughs> it's not his fault. Look at that. Gene Snitsky with the cheap knee to the midsection. Sends a loaf into the corner. And beats on him with those boots to the midsection. A loaf is sent into the corner. And he moves just in time. I'll tell you why, not many people could slam Gene Snitsky like that. And he stops himself before he misses with the, the elbow. Right here. Here's the ring group. Keep having it. See? They're calling a timeout right now. I told you, you get three per match. And this is their first. I don't know where you're getting this from, Mike. Who is Daniel Marsh counting to? He's counting to the crowd. Because they're all going, Daniel Marsh, we love you. And he's saying, I love you too. You can find him on Facebook. Daniel A. Marsh. Look at Lloyd Anawahi, he's so tired, he can't even stand up. Have these guys ever heard of a gym before? No, they haven't. I think you can see by the looks of things. Lance wants in. Lance with the blind tag. Here comes the superstar, the third generation. Lance and Havoc, the fans have been waiting to see this one, folks. They already fought, EJ. With the arm drag and another one. Unbelievable drop kick to Havoc. He just wishes his arm drag looked as good as mine. That's true, that's very true, Brandon. Those vicious kicks chopping Havoc down to size. Not many more Havoc can take of those. Uh huh, you were saying? Excellent move as he rolls up Lance on Oahe. He's looking to, for Snitsky, no, he tags in. M3, and here comes, oh my god, it's chaos! Oh my god, EJ, it's a Donnie Brook! Eight men in this ring. Daniel Marsh needs to, he's looking around, he doesn't even know what to do. He's thinking about WCW, I don't mean the, the wrestling show. You're not familiar with that, are you? It's pandemonium. Absolute pandemonium, Brandon Scott. So you guys are friends now. 
Just because I agree with him once doesn't mean we're friends. Look at that. Did you see JP? Excuse me, M3. There goes Snitsky. Where's he going? He's had enough of that, he said. That doesn't surprise me. He's friends with Tommy Swade. You mean the PPW champ? I mean the leader of the coward gang. This is not fair. Here we go. Why is Samu and Alofa. Why is he allowing this? They get the extra guys up on their shoulders. What, and this like? spells trouble for the extra guys. This oh no. They are going to squash the extra guys like bugs. A double splash. That's all she wrote, folks. I have no idea why Stinsky left that. And let me tell you, Super Agent Pellis better take, pick better people next time to defend his honor because that didn't work out. The Simone Dynasty has helped to bring order back to PPW. What do you think of that, Camarelli? See ya at the YMCA next month, folks. I'm E. Julius Kuiper. And I'm that guy next door. May 24, YMCA. I'm getting my TV title shot. We'll see you next time, folks. Signing off.